In this video, we will discuss the limitations of classical plant breeding and begin to explore modern plant breeding techniques developed to overcome those limitations. Classical breeding relies largely on joining and recombining of chromosomes to generate genetic diversity. New combinations of traits that result in progeny with different combinations of characters from the parents. Mutations also occur randomly every time DNA is replicated, creating new variants of genes. With classical breeding techniques, the breeder does not know exactly which genes are being passed on to the resulting progeny, as many rearrangements occur between the chromosomes. Classical breeding is also limited to individuals of the same species that can be easily crossed or forced to cross using artificial techniques. One challenge is that along with desired traits comes excess baggage, traits that are undesirable but are located on the chromosome so closely to the desired trait that they come along in the cross. This is called linkage drag. And this linkage drag can be a real drag to plant breeders trying to select for the desired trait without bringing the deleterious effects of any secondary traits. This is one of the main constraints to classical plant breeding. To overcome linkage drag, a plant breeder must back cross the plant with a new desired combination of traits with its original parent source to preserve the desired traits while eliminating the undesirable chromosomal hitchhikers. This type of crossing is limited by the traits that are available. If we return to the example of Mendel and his peas, he was limited by the variation in traits that occurred naturally in the gene pool of peas. Since Mendel's time, plant breeders have developed new tools to overcome the limits of naturally occurring variation, and they have developed new tools to be able to hybridize more distantly related species and to create new genetic diversity through artificial means. We are going to take a look at three relatively modern plant breeding approaches all developed in the second half of the 20th century. Mutation breeding, molecular breeding, and genetic engineering. In a process called mutation breeding, chemical mutagens, or radiation, can be used to randomly disrupt the genome of a seed, causing an increased frequency of mutations that impart new characteristics on the resulting plant. Some of these new mutations may yield new desirable characteristics, this is the process by which the Rio Red grapefruit was developed, as well as the Golden Promise barley that's used in beer and whiskey making. A modern plant breeding method referred to as molecular breeding uses the new tools of molecular biology to select desirable traits in plants. Molecular markers are genetic sequences that act as unique signposts in the genome. They are detectable sequences that flank a gene of interest and are so close to the gene that they tend to travel together. These markers offer breeders the ease of using molecular detection techniques to easily select for the desired trait flanked by the marker. These molecular markers are especially useful when the trait being selected for is hard to detect because, for example, it's only detectable late in the plant's development, or maybe special conditions are necessary for expression, such as the presence of a disease. A dramatic leap forward in plant breeding was made when the tools of genetic engineering were developed. In conventional plant breeding, two individuals with different but desirable characteristics are crossed and the offspring with the desired combination of characteristics are selected, along with a lot of other undesirable genetic material that comes along for the ride. Genetic engineering allows much more precision. Using molecular scissors, we can cut out a gene from a genome and paste it into the genome of another plant. Not only can we do this with related species, but because the genetic code is universal, genes from a very distant organism, a plant with a bacterium, for example, can be combined. Thus, no longer are plant breeders constrained by the genetic variation of a species that occurs in nature. Not only that, but today, synthetic genes can also be built using the basic DNA building blocks of A, T, G, and C. The opportunities are enormous.